Hello everyone, what's going on? <laughs> I'm already not starting to like driving out here this time because <laughs> it's like hella cold man, <laughs> for real. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> if only if only all of the distribution centers were this spacious, I tell you, life will be a breeze <laughs> out here in Texas in this heat. Um, what's this freaking like, I think 60, 60 something degrees, I don't know. But, tell me where they do this at. It's nothing but liquids. And the load is like 44,000 pounds. And this is a tire of the trailer on this load. It looks extra worn out, okay? <laughs> but that's why pre-trips are highly, highly encouraged on every trailer, every trip. To all my beautiful men and lovely men, thank you all so much for rocking out with me. I sincerely appreciate it. The main point of this um, clip is going to be very brief, and I want to be able to shed a little bit of insight on some of the information that I took, honestly, from my trainer. That it may be able to further assist some of you all who didn't receive it during your training experience. But I definitely want to start off by saying, if you thought about truck driving, <laughs> if you thought about becoming a business owner, however you want to go about it leave the drugs and the and the brew alone like for real if you are reliant and dependent on alcohol <laughs> the bottles um bud blacks uh cigarettes however you want to go about it put it down like leave it alone <laughs> for real because at the end of the day your health is very very vital when you're out here so if you've never smoked before it's a huge possibility you might come out here and start smoking for real um <laughs> like this job profession it takes a toll out on you as i've mentioned before it does so you may want to kind of ease your mind <laughs> in certain ways or certain areas but yeah you got to figure out another way like for real because there are many trucking companies who do random drug testing stevens transport is one of them and again i have to say this very clearly stevens transport is not a company for everybody it's simply not some people are very, very satisfied and very successful to where they're starting their own fleets within the company and they're content, financially stable. Yes, they're very satisfied with their um, position. And then you have some who dislike it to a T. They just hate it, whether it's because of their dispatchers and driver managers and people that they encounter on a day-to-day -day basis. It's not a company that's for everybody. Start, it's a training company legit it's a startup company legit start off do what you need to do and then move on to something else I have to reiterate because it's not something it's not a company to where somebody's gonna hold your hand all the time 24 7 like when I'm driving in certain places I have my pre-plan set up like regardless either I'm on the phone with my driving manager setting up a pre-plan or I contacted whatever planner I needed to contact to get a pre-plan because I don't want to sit somewhere um, for a long period of time for no reason time is money okay time is money I have to say that so I'm a little hype <laughs> okay there's nothing wrong with being a little hype sometimes <laughs> um, but yeah definitely leave the drugs and the brew alone because your health is important for real liver kidneys lungs all that it's gonna be affected in the long run start off with Maryland Maryland and, and Illinois in certain areas with the construction zones have speed cameras some people don't know of yes they have legit speed cameras when it comes to driving in New York you have the clearances that are kind of misleading some of them will be posted as 12 8 or 12 10 and they have yellow ones they have white ones so between the two majority of the trucks can fit through those overpasses normally the um, I guess the lower part of the overpasses are on the side to where you might not want to be so close in the right lane going under the bridges uh, he said trucks um, cannot fit on the upper bridges and when it comes to sh driving in Chicago trucks cannot fit on the boulevards mm. truck stops normally fill up between 5 p.m. and 6 p.m. California and this is definitely like I'm a witness of this I with driving with him through California and driving on my own 
California is not a state to where it's really truck stop friendly. They don't have too many truck stops throughout California, so you want to be very, very cautious and careful of your driving time and um, when you're doing your rest stops and your brakes and whatnot, whenever you're driving in California. Sorry if I'm speaking a little too fast. <laughs> I don't want this video to exceed too long. Um, when it comes to your weights, this is very important. Your stairs, 12,000. Your um, tra drives in your trailer, 34,000. It cannot exceed over 80,000. You definitely want to be very careful of your scaling. Anytime you're like overweight on certain axles, you want to turn the weight or turn to the problem. Um, when it comes to fuel performance, I don't know how true this is. I really haven't, I should have tested it. But he told me whenever you're fueling and you're at a truck stop, you want to, um, whenever you want to focus on your MPG, say you get the odometer reading from the first place you fueled at and you go to the second place you're fueling at and you get the odometer reading, you take those two odometer readings and subtract the numbers. After you subtract that, after you get the um, amount, you're going to take that amount and divide it by the gallons of fuel that you purchased. That will be able to have a better reading of your MPGs. That could be wrong. I'm not sure. Someone could correct me, but that's what I learned from him. <laughs> Definitely one of the best GPSs, the trucker GPSs, is the Rand McNally. They have different brands, different versions, but Rand McNally is one of the best truckers GPSs. <laughs> um, whenever you're descending and like you're going extreme like it's very very steep you definitely want to make sure you're in the right gear and your jake brake is i guess um best suited for that situation <laughs> because you don't want to hit the jake brake and you don't want to downshift as you're already descending I, I, that could i guess harm the engine transmission mm. <laughs> so that's that <laughs> definitely you don't want to burn out your clock this is something I know for real for real you don't want to burn out you don't want to do 10 hours every day because it's you just don't you want to kind of have balance out your hours to where it's going to be most suitable to where you're not going to run out hours so you can keep on running again time is money <laughs> you don't have to scan in every trip that you do as soon as you're done with it you can hold on to like four or five trips and scan them in at one time to where you may be able to see what you really want to see but if you don't want to do that, you can scan in your trip sheets as soon as you're done with the trip. That's up to your own discretion. Nobody else. Uh, I think that's really it when it comes to that. So, whenever you specifically you're doing produce calls, uh, you are doing, you're checking your, um, your temps. The other thing that's very, very important when it comes to, um, oh, scale houses. <laughs> the best pass is something that a lot of companies, a lot of, I guess a lot of big companies, they give out to their drivers. So you see these lights down here? Normally, if you're loaded, you're good to go, your weights are fine, and light up green. And as it's lit green, about 15, maybe 20 minutes down the road, it's going to stay lit and it's going to just flash. Now, in some cases to where you're loaded and you're driving, everything's good to go, and it doesn't light up at all. He told me you need to pull your behind in at the scale house if it doesn't light at all. If it lights up red, you're in hot water, and you need to pull in. So the best pass is um, something very serious and important when it comes to the scaling or the scale houses because those fines are serious.